Hello, my name is Brian Mulligan and for the next few minutes in this short video we'll be talking to you about objective tests. It's just a little introduction. Often known as multiple choice quizzes but more correctly called objective tests and we'll explain about that now. So a definition of a, an objective test is one that consists of factual questions. That's where there's an agreed correct answer uh, there's no ambiguity about it. The question needs to be clear and the answer agreed, so there is no subject subjectivity in answering the question. And because of that, it's quite, quite easy to automate. There are various types of questions in an objective test, and multiple choice, or the MCQs as they're called, multiple choice questions or multiple choice quizzes, are only one of them. There's also multiple response, which is very like multiple choice. There are um, several right answers, uh, whereas in a multiple choice, there's only one correct answer. There's also short answer questions where learner can input a, a word or a short phrase and the computer will be able to determine if that's correct. There's also what's called hotspot questions where it shows an image and there are various areas on the image that if they, they click on, they will get a correct grade for it. There's also matching pairs where there might be two lists of items and you have to match the items in the list. There's another type of question you do get in computerized tests which is long answer or essay answers. Those are generally not graded by the computer. They're graded by a human and they wouldn't be considered as a question type for an objective test. Now how applicable are objective tests. Uh, this diagram of Bloom's taxonomy indicates that they're generally applicable towards the bottom. It's relatively easy to think of quiz questions that test knowledge. It gets more difficult to think of good quiz questions that test comprehension and I would imagine it gets more difficult as you go up towards the top of Bloom's taxonomy. Okay, just, I just want to cover a few terms and concepts that are used in objective tests and multiple choice quizzes. The first one is validity. Is the test valid? To determine this, you have to know what it is that you're trying to measure, what knowledge or understanding of what it is that you want to measure. And then do the questions in the test actually test that knowledge or understanding? Reliability is how consistent the test is. If the same learner took the test a second time, would they get approximately the same result? If another learner took the test with a similar knowledge level, would they get the same result? The third term that you should be familiar with is discrimination. If you have a group of learners taking the test, generally they will have a varied ability. But if the test gives ev everybody a similar score, it's not able to discriminate between different levels of knowledge. So the test needs to be able to do that. It needs to be able to award lower scores to people that would, wouldn't have a high level of knowledge and higher scores to people who do have a high level of knowledge. Let's have a look at some terms that are used in multiple choice questions. The question that's posed to the student is called the STEM. Often it's not a question, by the way. Often it can be a partial sentence which is completed later in the question. What the learner selects from are called the options or the alternatives. Not all of them are correct. One or more may be correct, depending if it's a multiple choice quiz or a multiple response quiz. In a multiple choice question, the one that they're awarded marks for would be the correct or best alternative. And the one that they don't get marks for are called the distractors. That's it for now. We will also have a separate video on tips for creating good multiple choice quizzes. Thank you. Bye.